So I know a lot of people have issues with their lipstick fading or feathering, so here are some tips to prevent this. One of the main things that I like to use is actually a lip perfector. So basically all it is is just a clear lip liner. What's so cool about it is you can either line the outside of the lip to prevent the lipstick from feathering up, or you can actually prime the entire lip with this. So I'll show you a little bit of both. When you're lining the outside, you don't want to go right on the tip. You want to actually go just around the outer rim. That's what we're doing here. And I'll also kind of show you what you would do if you were lining the entire lip. Just kind of take it in. It's clear, so you really can't see it, but you just want to make sure it's nice and even and blended. And I'm going to have Bobby go like that. Perfect. Just blends everything. So now your lips are primed. You can also use a regular lip liner, just the way we did where we filled everything in. That will help too. The clear one's just kind of fun because you can use it for any lip color. It's very universal. The next tip that I have for fading or feathering is just choosing a lipstick or a lip color that is long wear. If you're in a makeup store, you can kind of clearly see which ones are and which ones aren't. The main thing is that you're choosing something that's matte. I have some nice matte lip colors and my favorites, which I will talk about, are the Aqua Rouge by Makeup Forever. I really, really love these ones. So what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit on here. They have a lot of pigment, so I'm gonna take a little off first. I'm gonna start on the top of the lip. Just kind of line with this. It's really nice that you can actually create a line with this applicator. So that's how I'll start, get the shape. These are really nice. They're very waterproof. They really stay on. You can eat, drink, kiss. This will not fade. I love these. And the best part about it is, which I will show you in a minute, that the other side has a sealant, which is keeping your lips hydrated because a lot of times long wear lip colors are very drying. That kind of matte look will sometimes dry your lips out. And these are very pigmented, so start with just a nice light application. And then I'm gonna have her smush her lips together. Perfect, and just add a little more in wherever you need it. And we're gonna go ahead and do the sealant because that's gonna lock all the color in. Here we go. And it gives her a nice kind of glossy finish, but it doesn't stay super glossy. So if you do like matte, you can still use this. And that's how to prevent your lipstick from fading or feathering.